Welcome to a very special Dave Day here on Community NEPA News. You might notice there's a different logo behind um, Dave and I, Dave Seaman, Snare Speaker Sports Editor. And there's also someone else here on, on set with us, Russ Kanzler, Hazel Tenary High School baseball coach, former professional baseball player. Dave, we're here because we're getting ready to launch a podcast and web series soon, coming soon, with a standard speaker and SSP TV called Good Sports with um, Dave and Ken. You've been wanting to do this for, for a while to, I guess, celebrate local sports a little bit more. Yeah, I think expand on what we've already do every week. Uh, you know, you get a positive response from the uh, area viewers. Uh, you know, our, our segment every week, it seems like we run out of time because there's <laughs> always a lot of things to talk about uh, during the sports season. We have a lot of good sports in the area, so to speak. Uh, so it's a, it's a good uh, way to highlight those athletes, coaches, uh, events that are happening in this area. And coming soon, you'll see the first episode of that with Russ Kanzler. Russ, thank you so much for joining us. Um, just recently, and one thing we did talk about, um, even though it, we were trying to be timely, but we did mention this game, your game against Dallas with your team. And Dave, you covered it. So I guess um, let's start with you as a reporter. I mean, what did you notice from that? It was suspended, right? Sure. And you guys had to pick it back up, back and forth game. Cougars eventually come out with the victory. Oh, well, first thing I noticed is uh, Dallas didn't waste any time loading the bases uh, <laughs> against uh, Russ brings in uh, Chick Digitano as a pitcher or something. Single, single walk and Dallas has the bases loaded in the blink of an eye, um, you know, and, and then it doesn't look good. for the, I mean, the. Let's backtrack. The game is scoreless at that time. Both teams had opportunities to score in a fifth inning before the rain came last week or a few weeks ago. Um, so when the game was picked up, Dallas looked like they were ready to break through. Uh, instead, uh, Chicky gets a couple strikeouts, and then he gets a, a line out, and uh, the Cougars get out of the inning, and uh, they get all the momentum. Uh, they come up to bat, and Gavin McGowan gets a one-out single, and then uh, Russ brings in Anderson Moran, who uh, Hazleton area baseball fans might not know who he is, but now they do because uh, the kid comes off the bench for an injured Jerome Repitz, uh, delivers a two run homer, puts the Cougars ahead. They go on to win the game three to two. So genius move by the coach over there. <laughs> How hard is it? it? It has to be hard coaching in this area to begin with because you have to squeeze all the games sure, in yeah. based on the weather. But all of a sudden you have a suspended game, a, a league game. And, and yeah. does that, I mean, how really did you even, how'd you even approach it? I mean, as, as you're looking at it. A lot of pacing around my house <laughs> uh, beforehand. So, you know, and, and that's the tough thing. We talked about it yesterday, Dave. It's a, it's a very competitive league. You know, all the divisions are, are tough and there really isn't, you know, a letdown game. I mean, there, there's not a team that's just going to roll over for you. We've been in a, in a couple tough ones this week, going extra innings with Tunkhannock, extra innings with Wyoming area, and then picking up, you know, kind of an odd situation, picking up in the sixth inning where, you know, it almost seems like whoever scores first is probably going to win this game. Uh, so for, for Chicky to come in there and, and, and get out of a bases loaded, nobody out situation, I felt, I'm like, all right, we're going to win this one. We, <laughs> if we can get out of that, we're, we're, we're in a good spot. And, and you know, kudos to, to Anderson Moran for, you know, being very patient throughout the course of the season so far and, and continuing to work hard and, and, and push his teammates and, you know, get that opportunity and, and really take advantage of it. I was, I was, I was super happy for him. Yeah. I don't know if I'm getting more emotional as I get older, but we have Good Sports as the name of our podcast coming up. But Dave, I was reading your interview you did with Anthony after the game, and I almost got emotional because he said he was emotional, and you're doing this. Talk about your interview with him. And there was a, it was through a translator as well because he's speaking Spanish at the time. That's I mean, the first time I've had to do an interview with a local <laughs> high school player through a translator, and uh, Chris Janelle did a great yeah, job. Yeah, with, you know, He did a fantastic job as a sophomore uh, relaying the questions, and uh, you could just tell. I mean, the, the tears were literally welling up inside Anderson's, uh, inside his Anderson's eyes. And, yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, and he, he was generally emotion and uh, you, you feel good about that. I mean, you really do. And, the, you know, kid, he lifted up his team and uh, I don't know what was, what was better to watch. Well, watching him circle the bases with that smile all the way around yeah, the bases yeah. or, or watching his teammates just go out there to mob him because, uh, you know, it was a big win, too. I mean, you, you needed a win. Uh, I put the Cougars in first place in the division and, uh, you know, it, it's just a great team win. You said to Dave in that article, listen, it's been a great start for you as a, as a manager, as a coach, for your kids. Um, but you even said, you said there's little things and you know, and that's okay. There's yeah. little things you could pick on and little things you, you could still work yeah. on. So that's, that's positive. You still, what are some areas you're still looking to improve in, and maybe keep the focus as you guys are chasing a division title here? Yeah, I think, you know, we, we have a lot of good arms. You know, we have a lot of guys that can throw hard. We have a lot of guys that, that uh, can be a little intimidating on the mound, you know. So one of the things that I continue to preach is, you know, establishing strike one and, and making action happen in, in four pitches or less you know that's that's uh 
with a little help from Kyle Landis, who's who's been helping us out as well. You know, trying to trying to make something happen in four pitches or less, and keep your defense active, uh, pitching to contact more instead of you know getting behind hitters. And I think we've been doing a pretty good job of that. Uh, offensively, you know, the one thing that they're going to hear a million times is just cutting down strikeouts. You know, we we kind of set a goal for ourselves to strike out no more than six times a game. So we're trying to put the ball in play at least 15 times and put the pressure on the defense. And um, you know, to start that Dallas game, we actually had nine strikeouts in in the first five innings, uh, which is a big reason why there was no runs on the board for us. So since that point, we, we've been pretty good. We went down to Parkland and played a very good team uh, and, and only struck out four times. So you kind of see the results happening for the, for uh, for, the, for us offensively. So I'm, I'm really big on two strike approach at this level, you know, buying into it, choking up a little bit, shortening up your swing and, and allowing the ball to travel a little bit deeper uh, because it's happened to us. We've done it to other teams where, you know, the right time and, and you just catch one off the end of your bat and bloop something in and, and that could really turn the tide of the game. So uh, I'd like to continue to see us work on that. Well, gentlemen, thank you again, and I feel like we had a great discussion. You'll want to listen to it and um, keep your eyes open for the standard speaker. And also here on SSP TV, we'll announce when you could see and hear that first episode of the podcast web series, Good Sports with Dave and Ken.